A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, 
Well, Jesus was just born into this world, and already from the very beginning, the forces were out to kill him. From the very beginning, Herod wanted him dead. The Magi told him all about the, the new king. He didn't like that. Now, Herod was Jewish, and he followed all the Jewish regulations of washing and things like that. He did all those things, but it couldn't, he couldn't comprehend that what he was going to do was so wrong and evil, like trying to kill this person they called the newborn king. And if he couldn't kill that one, he was going to kill all the firstborn boys up to two years old in Bethlehem and the surrounding areas. Didn't even dawn on him that this is evil in action. Nope, he's following all the minute laws and everything, but he ignores the fifth commandment for some reason. Thou shalt not kill. Doesn't even enter his mind, it seems. Doesn't matter to him. He's the king, and he can do what he wants. So there's darkness there, great darkness there, evil and darkness. Yet in the same passage, we see the opposite. We see Joseph, who once again has a dream, and an angel tells him the whole story, what's going to happen. Take your child and the mother, go to Egypt and flee from Herod to save the child. Even though they don't even know that one day this child will be put to death anyway. But this is what God is saying. And Joseph is open to the light already. And so off he goes. The Magi, they tell Herod, yeah, we, we, we've been following the star and we know he's alive and we're going to try to find him. And they are cooperating with Herod at this point. Yeah, we'll come back and tell you where he is. Sure, absolutely. And they mean it. And then they meet the light of the world. They meet the light of the world. And their lives were transformed. And they're not going to go and follow the darkness anymore. Even though they didn't even know it was darkness. They've been enlightened by the newborn light of the world. And they follow the light. And our first reading today speaks about that. John's first letter. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ to proclaim to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. We have fellowship with him. Be a follower of the light. So today, we continue to celebrate Christmas in light of the, this Feast of the Holy Innocents. We continue to celebrate the light of the world has come. So today and every day, let us make sure we are walking as children of the light.